What you do when no one is watching is really important. Keep watching to find out what book I'm reading this week and why you have to pay attention to who's watching. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denagno and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. So this week I read a book called When No One Is Watching. The book was written by Alyssa Cole. It's a fiction novel and the theme or topic was suspense thriller. So there will be spoilers. It's a book review. But one of the biggest twists, shifts, turns, whatever you want to say, was when Theo came out wearing the Black Lives Matter shirt and Sydney was like, please take that off. You got to take that off. Please, please, please. So that was important because Theo is white, Sydney is black, and he was wearing the shirt to show his support. One of the kids in the neighborhood was getting harassed by police and so he was wearing the shirt he just thought he was being an ally and we appreciate allies of black people we do howsomever the black lives matter shirt was just not the right time it was drawing attention to theo in a negative way my sweatshirt black is a vibe stands for black clothing but really it's talking about black people black people are a whole vibe and it's awesome that it can be on a tie-dye shirt almost even ironic <laughs> but it's those kind of things right you're already here you're showing that you're involved you're attending community meetings the black lives matter shirt we don't we don't need it we don't need it please take that off and she was like i need you to change your clothes right now <laughs> so i love that part i thought that was great so why that was important to me is because I have had a lot of people who are not black, so that includes people of color, that includes white people, who have supported me and been allies of me as a black woman. I appreciate it, I love it, it's great. And there are some people who try and they don't know what to do. So I remember summer 2020 and I was pregnant preparing to have my daughter when a lot of stuff was happening in all the Black Lives Matters protests and things like that. And I saw a message where someone was like, some people support by donating financially, some people support with their time, some people support by protesting. Basically, there are different ways to show your support. And that was how I felt while reading the book. I was like, wow, I appreciated that Theo was trying to be an ally and Sydney was honest with him and told him, we don't need that right now. Just, just continue being an ally and showing up. You don't need to wear the merchandise, right? So I really enjoyed that piece, especially because I have a lot of allies who are not black. And I am making that distinction because people of color and black people are different. It's different. Black with a capital B. It's different. This book was deep. I mean, my husband and I are trying to buy a house so the book had to deal with gentrifying neighborhoods and institutionalizing black people getting them addicted to drugs so that you can buy their properties and oh it was hitting just so close to home while i'm struggling trying to find a house so i would not reread the book because i'm not gonna forget it and it's just not it was a good thriller but most thrillers i don't need to reread because i was scared when i read it and i'm like okay um, so no, I wouldn't reread it, but it was a great book. It was a really good book. So thank you for hanging out with me at Kyla's Reading Day. Today we talked about the book When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you've read this book or if you've read any other suspenseful or thriller books this week. I will see you next week on Kyla's Reading Day.